Eleanor Reichner was born as John Reichner sometime in the 14th century, but later took up cross-dressing and even expressed how she felt she was a woman, making her one of the first possible trans-identity people in the Middle Ages we know about. Now, this is not a universally held view, but it is accepted by most historians. Ruth Matzo Karras, chief among them, conducted the first major work on it, but did caution that it is impossible to know for sure what was going on in her head, and if she identified as transgender or just transvestite. A prostitute by trade, under the protection of a female pimp in London, also doing work in nearby towns, she had sex with both men and women. This was possibly under the guise of an apprenticeship, as many job opportunities for women had been generated by recent outbursts of plague. She was arrested in 1394, but the urban authorities did not know what to make of her, nor understand her position, as there was no concept of transsexuality or terms to even express such an idea. The source in Latin refers to her clumsily in the neuter, in the male, and twice indirectly as a female. It is clear anyway that she enjoyed other gendered activities like needlework and insisted that she could act as a woman at her trial. She could only be plausibly tried for fornication, cross-dressing or sodomy, but her fate is unknown as those were not in the purview of a mayoral court. She is in any case an excellent glimpse of unconventional and marginalised sexuality that does not fit normative fables or other religious texts of the time and it would seem that it was not unimaginable to encounter transgender people in 14th century London, blurring the lines between gender roles, which was something that had not shocked her clients or her pimp.